the communities I'm activist. So when you see me up in heaven, ain't no accident. I'm asking him to stop sex trafficking and African crime on African assassination sin in the kind of tag me in. Tag me in, Jesus. I I think it's extremely interesting. Again, we talk about Jesus mm -hmm. with the light of the eye. Right. And he says, the eye is the light of the body. Right. And if that light be darkness, mm. how great is that darkness? Or if that light be darkness, how great is the corruption of the code on the inside of you? Mm. I think Christians need to understand that there needs to be a removal of the old code. Mm. And that regeneration process that we talk about mm -hmm. coming into the body of Christ, there needs to be a complete regeneration. He talks about in our Romans 12, uh, 1 and 2, be not mm -hmm. conformed to this world. Mm -hmm. Get transformed. Get, get that new code mm -hmm. on the inside of you. Because once the code's on the inside of you, again, that code is in the background. It's running. And nobody sees it. It's running you. <laughs> you know, that code is your you, worship. Exactly. It's your word. The stuff that nobody sees. And you know if it's running you because you know how the word should be affecting you. You should. You said something, and what it made me think about is God gives us uh, hostels, prophets, teachers, preachers. These are the people who are supposed to know how to deliver the code to you mm -hmm. better than you. Right. This is why Jesus says to Nicodemus, he says, Nicodemus, you must be born again. Mm -hmm. And Nicodemus goes, wait a minute. Minute. I haven't read that code New before. Code. <laughs> right? Unable to process. Right. And he says, well, how are we supposed to do that? I, I don't compute. And Jesus says, wait a minute, Nicodemus. You're supposed to be a coder. You're supposed to be a master coder. Yeah, yeah exactly. He says, you are a doctor of the law. Stop telling me you don't understand what I just said. Mm -hmm. He literally rebuked him because he was saying, this is something and this is a concept that should be so easy for you and you should be able and should be teaching this to others so when you are looking for a church when you are looking for ministry and you're looking for those to father you spiritually mm -hmm. you need to make sure you know oh the praise team is so wonderful i like how they sing over there mm -hmm. and then this was good oh they had some good fruit punch <laughs> but then fruit punch. what about <laughs> the sex about the word. What about the coding? What about the person that's supposed to be downloading into you so that your walk becomes better? So that what you're modeling becomes better? So that what you're outputting becomes better? I think a really great way, you know, most of the times when we break our cell phone, mm -hmm. most of the time it's the screen. Right. And it's a superficial break. Right. Superficial and, you know, you go, you know, the you break it, I fix it. They right. go, they fix your screen, and right. you feel all is right with the world. Right. But then there are times when something in the background of your phone takes place. Mm. And you you went on some site you shouldn't, virus comes into your phone, you, you, you updated, you know, all the updates that they have mm -hmm. and everything else, and it comes on and your phone stops working mm -hmm. the way you remember and everything, and all of a sudden, it becomes a moment where you have to then make a decision, regardless of how much money I spend on this phone, do I need to replace it? Mm. Because of what's happened in the background. You exactly. no longer have a desire mm -hmm. for what's happening on the phone. You may have just gotten the screen fixed. It may be the newest thing. But because what you were used to mm -hmm. is no longer happening on this phone, you now have this idea that you want to replace it. You want to get rid of it. Right. And so I think that is difficult for young Christians. And now that you can't even say young Christians anymore. Maybe I could 20 years ago. But this has become difficult for Christians now in this lukewarm era. Yeah, and that's the word. They can't Luke deal with war. yeah. They can't deal with this coding that's being input into it. You know, right. it's so difficult. And I watch a young men. It's so difficult for them to get a hard word. You know, that hard coding that needs yeah. to go in place. Yeah. Even though it's a lot easier, even though we have this thing, Windows-based, it didn't change the code. No. It changed how no. we processed. It, no, and it changed how we could see it so we could appreciate all the hard work that was done to get us to that point. Listen, can you imagine for one moment if Jesus, we had to go through what Jesus went through. What God was really showing us through how he was beaten, how he was bruised, how he was chastised is this was the hard part 
of getting you to this place where all you had to do was say, I receive your grace. I receive your love. And Jesus mm -hmm. said, you didn't have to be crucified. You didn't have to be beaten. You didn't have to be nailed to a cross. You didn't have to receive the stripes. That was the hard part. I'm asking him to stop sex trafficking and African crime on African assassination.